Hi everyone. July 28th is considered as a World Hepatitis Day and it is celebrated every year throughout the world. And as a part of this World Hepatitis Day, uh, this year campaign is about Hepatitis I Can't Wait. The theme of the uh, this World Hepatitis Day is considered as I Can't Wait. The reason why being is uh, per day for every 30 seconds, uh, each uh, one, pa one patient is dying of these viral hepatitis throughout the world. That means the burden of disease is very severe in respect to this viral hepatitis all over the world. So as a part of campaign, this year is considered as we should not wait for everything in culminating this dreaded viral hepatitis. So I just mentioned about why we should not wait for everything is first thing is if somebody has detected viral hepatitis in the form of hepatitis B and C, please make sure that test further to make sure that you don't have any active disease in the body so that we can prevent liver related ailments such as liver cirrhosis and at the same time we can reduce the risk of liver cancers in these patients who are affected with hepatitis B and C. And at the same time we should not wait for testing mothers who are in pregnancy uh, make sure that they should not have any diseases such as hepatitis B and C so make sure that to test them and if somebody has hepatitis B and C in, in mother make sure that they should not have any active viral load in the body so just get tested for those viruses and if somebody has the disease get treatment with the liver specialist and at the same time most important thing is maternal to child transmission prevention is very important in these viruses if somebody has hepatitis B if mother has hepatitis B make sure to test the viral load and have prior vaccination and immunoglobulins to the child the newborn to prevent spread of infection from mother to child and at the same time you should not wait uh, for patients who are having risk of having this infection especially uh, for those people who are having uh, risk of drug abuse and having risk of blood transfusion from infected persons and third thing is uh, the areas which are prone for high risk areas like uh, to prevent and get tested in those people who are uh, having the risk of having sexual transmission and get tested those things and to make sure that it should not spread in the community uh, to other uh, people and one th one more thing is we should not wait and uh, in terms of uh, resources that has to be done by the policy makers the first thing is make sure that this hepatitis B and C is a important disease in the community and we should increase the awareness among the people to make sure that to reduce the burden of the disease and at the same time the burden on the uh, healthcare sector and at the same time burden on the uh, political system why because we have to spend so much money on these patients for the sake of medication which are very costly especially for hepatitis b and c so if you create an awareness in a political system way so that we can reduce the amount of burden of transmission and at the same time prevent the chronic liver diseases and hepatocellular carcinoma in these patients who are affected and it will help us to make sure to lead a healthy uh, leading life and from the these viruses such as hepatitis b and c so uh, please uh, get aware of these diseases if somebody has hbsag positive or hepatitis c positive make sure to test yourself at the same time and your surrounding people and get aware of these diseases in the community so that uh, we have a 
uh, healthy life free from this hepatitis B and C and we can reduce the amount of deaths related to this viral hepatitis. Thank you.